Over the past week, we've learned that Obama abused his presidential powers during his final months in office to spy on Donald Trump in an attempt to ruin Trump's election run against Hillary. As damning evidence of Obama's spying was further corroborated by WikiLeaks with their Vault 7 feet data dump on Wednesday, now an Intel analyst has just come forward with even more disturbing evidence on Obama, proof she's calling an outright felony under the Espionage Act. This is all brand new breaking information that will no doubt make Obamagate explode even further in the days and weeks to come. National security correspondent Sarah Carter appeared on Sean Hannity's show Wednesday evening revealing that Obama's spying on Trump Tower was just the beginning of Obama's massive unconstitutional scheme to take out Trump, showing proof of a second instance of Obama's spying that was carried out during the presidential election. But with this second instance of spying, Obama's officials went around the FISA court, going completely rogue to try to prove collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. But unfortunately for Obama, his scheme was complete violation of the Espionage Act, which is a massive felony. Here's part of the transcript from the interview. Sarah Carter said, John and I spoke to some very senior U.S. officials. They clarified this. They said there was a FISA warrant in October that was looking at the overall Russian hacking investigation, but that the FBI, when they monitored the server at Trump Tower it was actually located away from Trump Tower. It wasn't under the FISA. They did normal strategic type of FBI investigations that didn't require the FISA. So they went into the server but they did not use the FISA to do that. They did have a FISA however in October at the exact same time as this investigation. Sean Hannity said, so there's two instances now of spying? Sarah Carter said, two. Yes. Two instances so this is completely new evidence and remember we all thought and everybody had reported that the server was inside Trump Tower. The server was not located in Trump Tower according to our sources. Sean Hannity said, with the second issue warrant whatever the FBI was doing was that in Trump Tower? Sarah Carter said, that's what we don't know now. Because now that opens up a whole new slew of questions. Sean Hannity said, so what you're saying is they found no evidence at all whatsoever of any collusion between the campaign and the Russians. True? Sarah Carter said, absolutely true. They found no evidence of that. In fact when we spoke to our sources who had direct access to this investigation what was happening with the FBI, they didn't even find evidence of collusion with Lieutenant General Mike Flynn which is interesting because even when those leaks came out and they were referring to the Logan Act and everybody saw this as, they thought this was a part of the original investigation into, Russian hacking and now President Trump. It wasn't. It was completely different. It was a completely separate incident and the leak came out anyways. It was monitoring of Russian assets. Sean Hannity said, and that would be a felony as defined by the Espionage Act as I understand it. Sarah Carter said, that is absolutely correct. This is absolutely astonishing. I'm not sure what's more disturbing. The fact that Obama would commit a massive felony and violate the Espionage Act in order to spy on a political opponent, or the fact that Obama pushed the fake narrative about Trump's ties with the Russians in order to get his way with the FISA order. Either way you slice it, Obama has committed a massive felony, and could soon wind up facing federal indictment charges for his cocky un-American and treasonous antics. Sources News helped contribute to this story. Its news exposed signing off.